Upon entering the patient's room, I would have checked my orders, gathered my supplies, washed my hands, and donned my PPE. I would have also checked the patient's vital signs like I state in the video, and I would provide privacy. My name is Laura. I'm going to be your student nurse today. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Sheila Lockyer, 7464. Okay, so today I'm going to be providing a um, head to toe assessment on you. I'm going to check you from your head to your toe and make sure everything's normal with this okay? Okay. Okay, so I've already provided for privacy. Before I came in, I checked all your vital signs, your blood pressure, respirations, pulse, and oxygenation are all right where we need them to be, okay? Okay. Can you tell me your height and weight? 5'2", 162. Alright. Okay, so do you have any allergies? No, ma'am. Okay, and are you feeling any pain today? No, ma'am. Can you tell me what day it is? Friday. Okay, and what's the date? March 6, 2020. Okay, and who's the president? Trump. While receiving information from the patient, I am also assessing posture in the bed, speech, and how well groomed they are. So I'm going to start by assessing your scalp. I'm going to feel for symmetry, hair distribution, texture, any masses or any abnormalities, okay? Okay. Okay, okay ma'am. Can you raise your eyebrows for me? Can you squeeze your eyes really tightly closed? Make a frown for me? Can you smile? Show your teeth and go. Alright, I'll be shining a light in your eyes, testing you for checking to see if your pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light, okay? Can you take your glasses off for me? Okay. And just look straight ahead. Can you tilt your head back? I'm just going to look in your nose real fast. Make sure everything's moist, pink, any nasal flaring or anything I see. Alright, now I'm going to check for the patency of your nose. Can you hold one nostril and breathe in? And then the other side. Thank you. Now I'm going to check your ears for any lesions, drainage, or earwax buildup, okay? Okay, check the other side. All right, now I'm going to assess your lips, teeth, gums, tongue, and palate. Okay, so just keep your mouth closed for now. Okay, smile for me. I need to see your teeth. Okay, open wide, stick your tongue out. Now, put your head back. Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to check your cardiopulmonary. While I've been doing the assessment, I've been watching your chest rise and fall. As you breathe, it seems to be normal. Okay, now I'm just going to listen to your heart.
and now I'm going to have a listen to your lung. Listen to this side. Check your birth sounds on your back. The eight breath sounds on the back. Now I'm going to palpate your chest, checking for any masses or any abnormalities. Okay, now take a deep breath for me. Let's check in for symmet symmetrical rise and fall. Sit up for me. I'm going to palpate your back also. Now I'm going to check your pulses, starting with your carotid artery. So can you turn your head just a little bit this way? Just a little bit. And the other side. Okay, I'm going to check your radial pulses. And I would check your femoral pulse here and here. And check your popliteal. During this time, I'm also checking to make sure the skin is warm, dry, and intact. and your posterior tibial. Okay, can you hold your hands out for me? I'm gonna check your perfusion. Capillary refill. And tartar. Also check in for temperature, color, and edema. Okay, now I'm going to check your bowel sounds. I'm going to check all four quadrants, and then I'll palpate and check for any distension.
During this time, I would check the patient's peritoneal area. I would check for any drainage, redness, wounds, pain, swelling, itching, or any complaints that the patient had had about the area at any given time. I would also check for color abnormalities at this time. Hey, can you sit up for me? That might be his name. Mm -hmm. Come to the edge. Okay, I'm going to check your muscle strength, make sure everything's symmetrical. So I'm going to start, I'm just going to assess your arms and legs. Can you put them side by side? Your feet. Okay, can you bend over? I'm just going to check your spine. Can you turn your head towards my hand? Other side. Can you shrug your shoulders? Can you squeeze my hands? Thank you. Push your feet down like a gas pedal. Push them up. Okay, so now we're gonna do a range of motion. We're gonna start with your neck. Just follow what I do. So head down, back, side, side. Now we'll do your shoulders, arms up, all the way, down, side, up. Big circle. Okay, we're gonna take your elbows, hands out, turn, over. Okay, we're gonna take your wrists, bend down, up, in, out. All right, make a fist for me. Take your hands straight out. Curl your fingers as far back as you can get them. Just your fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spread your fingers out. Back together. Turn them over. Okay. Touch your thumb to your pinky. Change fingers. The next finger to your thumb. The next finger. The next finger. Again. Okay, now we're going to assess your spine. So lean forward, touch your toes, okay, lean back, side, side, okay. All right, now follow after me. We're going to check your range of motion in your hip. So knee up, leg back, to your side, round circle. And we'll do the other side, knee up, leg back, side, and a big circle. Okay, now bring your right leg over as far as you can to the side. Okay, and left leg over. All right. Okay, now we're gonna assess your knee, bend your leg back, forward. Mm -hmm. Same thing on the other side, forward. All right, now we're gonna do your feet. So stick one foot out, press it down like a gas pedal, pull your toes to your nose, turn your foot inside. Okay, now curl your toes in, spread them apart. All right, now we'll do the other side. So foot out, push your gas pedal, toes to your nose, Turn the foot in towards your body. Okay. Curl your toes. Spread them apart. Okay. Now I'm gonna assess your gait. Can you take five steps this way and five steps back, okay? And that completes our physical assessment. All right, thank you. Good job. Thanks, Laura. Before leaving the patient's room, I would ensure all safety precautions were in place. Bed was in the lowest position, call bell in place, patient in no distress, and free of need. I would take off my PPE, wash my hands, and document the procedure I provided and how well the patient tolerated.